Hey Scorpio, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 17th to the 18th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Scorpio. Next 48 hours for Scorpio, April 17th to the 18th of 2023 for Scorpio. Hair transformation, otter dexterity, friend awareness. I mean, determination. This is raven determination. I don't know why I said friend awareness. Raven determination. Overall energy is brownie protection. So you're protected from something. I feel like someone's going to change the schedule of something without you knowing. Maybe something's an hour early, but you get there an hour early anyway, because maybe you read it wrong anyway, and you assumed that it was like, say for instance, you're supposed to be somewhere at, I don't know, eight, but you read it at seven and you show up at seven without receiving an email that the time changed to seven. It's something like that. So you're protected from like some type of schedule change because you end up showing up at the wrong time anyway, which is actually the right time. If that makes sense, you get what I mean. Let's get into the tarot for Scorpio. Or say, for instance, you show up somewhere, you think you show up somewhere late, but that's actually the time you were supposed to be there. We have the sun, Leo, so clarity, warmth, radiance, happiness. I feel like that is a transformation. You're just a lot happier at this time. King of Pentacles, the earth sign could be involved. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though. Yeah, I feel like uh, people can see that you're always on time, no matter what, or you keep a schedule no matter what. It's very clear to you. Ten of Wands, a heavy burden is put to rest. Page of Cups, a pleasant surprise. I don't know why I got the word stolen. Overall, energy the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Okay. I feel like a company or person can see that you're very dedicated. You come in at the same time, leave at the same time. You do something on a schedule every day or every other day, whatever. But you do it same time, same schedule every single time. You're dedicated. You invested. And this person wants to invest back, whether it be family, friend, work, or love. I feel like even when schedule changes or when things change it, change you change with it you're very flexible with your schedule because you're determined to progress or protect your position and because of this in turn your position is protected this is like a company moving and you move right with it you don't second guess and because of this they're very loyal to you because of your dedication or a relationship same thing you're getting the same energy back that you put into something from someone. And I feel like it's all come down to loyalty. So say, for instance, um, you did all this and the company downsizes and they start to um, fire people. They pull you to the side and let you know that your position is protected because of your loyalty. Or you leave a company and they let you know you can come back whenever you want because they just liked having you there. There's someone here or a company here that's very loyal to you because you were to them. And I cut the deck and see the six of pentacles. So yeah, it could be like that over on just the two of wands. Cause I see you moving in a new direction or companies moving in a new direction. So whether it's downsizing or changing a schedule or something like that, they're letting you know that your position is protected. And if you decide to move on to a new company, person, place, or thing, this, they're letting you know that you always have a spot here if you want to come back. Clarifying the sun is the five of wands. You don't have to compete whatsoever. Your position is protected. So if someone's trying to make you feel like you have to compete or there is any type of quote unquote competition, 
there isn't eight of wands messages coming in about some type of like conflicts a leo could be trying to fight with you or argue with you in the next 48 hours or someone who has strong leo placements could be trying to argue with you or compete with you in the next 48 hours clarifying the king of pentacles is the six of swords i don't see you caring or like getting into that three cups so you could be um patching things up with someone you had a argument with yeah in the next 48 hours could be a leo virgo cusp or something like that or a virgo leo cusp doesn't have to be you're patching things up with someone yeah you're you're it's water under the bridge you're letting it go six of swords and reuniting three of cups i feel like it's an old friend i feel like you fell out over something petty maybe there was competition in regards to a position or a career or getting into something and maybe one of you got the position over the other so there was a falling out but i see you guys making up Clarifying the Ten of Wands, it's the Devil, Capricorn, Four of Cups. Yeah, missed opportunity, heavy burden put to rest. Um, a relationship could have ended, a friendship could have ended over a job offer, a career. I feel like if you missed a job offer, offer or opportunity, you dodged a bullet. Because it was really going to weigh you down. Like the Ten of Wands and the Devil. That's someone working you to death. It's like, and paying you very little. They just like, even if they pay you a lot, you'll never get to enjoy the money because you're always working. It's like, geez. Clarifying the Page of Cups is the Seven of Cups. And the Six of Cups. Over on the Two of Wands. So I'm seeing this for work and love, old friends and exes. So if there was like a breadcrumbing ex that gave you very little emotionally or was just very immature emotionally, they're coming back, they're very manipulative or they had at the parties, they still do. They're emotionally immature, manipulative. And with the Six of Cups, they may have kids or you may have had kids with them in the past. This person has a mind of a child. <laughs> Someone from your past could be a water sign, doesn't have to be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There is some confusion about the past because someone was breadcrumby or emotionally like available or immature or something like that. That person is going to try to come back. There's someone who fought with you over um, a job or a career. This person, they may have gotten the job over you and realized that it sucked. It worked this person to death. This is like working for Amazon. I heard they work you to death. <laughs> yeah, someone got this position over you in the past and like they regret it. They're patching things up with you and you're letting it go. But then there's someone else here who's just like, maybe this is what happened in the past. Someone was just petty, childish, and immature and confused and y'all could just be letting that go. I feel like this is a friendship. Yeah, I feel like y'all are just passionate, letting it go, or you're just letting it go in general and moving on. Because you have a much better opportunity here. Or you've already, you found a, a better opportunity a long time ago. And you may have forgotten about this, but in the next 48 hours, someone's like, someone who you had a conflict is coming back around. I feel like in the next 48 hours, you could have a conflict with someone over this and then it's resolved and y'all let it go within the same 48 hours. I feel like someone may be causing a conflict on purpose in order for you to miss an opportunity. But if, even if you do get distracted and you miss the opportunity, it's because it wasn't like it was too much anyway. It was like not too much, but... It was going to drain the hell out of you. The devil and the ten of wands. Someone, yeah, someone's arguing with you to create fear. This is kind of reminding me of what, what sign was it? Hold on. The cancer. It was, it reminds me of the cancer reading. You may want to check them out, especially if you have those placements or you're dealing with one. Yeah, because it seems like someone wants to keep you small. They're arguing with you in order for you not to take this position. But I see you progressing in a new direction anyway. So you're not going to miss out on anything. It's protected. All right, let me get you your final message.
noose, anxiety, threat, self-sabotage. That's what they want. They want to create this in order to cause you to self-sabotage. Definitely watch the cancer reading. Milk, nourishment, parents, nostalgia. I would hope this isn't your parent. Or maybe it's about the past or um, if you have a child involved. Hedgehog, vulnerability, hiding the heart, tenderness. Overall energy is tree, wisdom, good roots, connection. Someone, I feel like someone could be apologizing and admitting that they were jealous in the next 48 hours. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.